Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lil. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you how I get in and out of my vehicle by myself. Um, first, I roll up, lock my wheels, and then I use my arms. I push up, lift my butt up, and I transfer and I lead myself over into the uh, driver's seat of the vehicle. You'll see me quickly putting my cushion into the passenger seat. You'll see my backrest going into the passenger seat. Everything goes in the back finally um, to make room for my wheelchair frame. But just to keep moving, you know, you're running late for time. You're just trying to hurry up. It's cold out. Um, I try to get everything off of the chair before I'm actually all the way in the car. So now you'll see me pop my legs in and over. Right? Get situated. Put my wheels in the back to make room for my wheelchair frame. Cushion in the back, backrest in the back. Now, you're going to see me uh, fold my legs. I cross my legs so that I can make room to get my wheelchair across my chest into the passenger seat. Um, I have really long legs, and sometimes my legs can get caught up. Also, while I'm driving, my knees will hit the uh, driver's wheel, and if I'm trying to turn, you know, my, you know, the car won't want to turn because my knee is stopping the wheel. So now we're going to lift the chair up with, you know, decent amount of strength, moderate, moderate difficulty. I make sure I lift it up like this and not just dragging it all in the car because I don't want the car getting scratched up nor my chair. Also, you want to clean, you want to clean transfer. You want to, you, you know, you want to keep it pushing. You don't want to be waiting and dropping the chair and getting caught up in difficult situations. So as you can see, you want to put, when you put it in the passenger seat, make sure your chair is all, seat is all the way back, your passenger seat is all the way back, and make sure your foot plate and your front wheels are up against the backrest. This is way easier. Um, you can still see. Uh, and yeah, this is how you get in. This is how I get into my car by myself. And uh, those are my driving sticks. And yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be posting more videos like this, more wheelchair one-on-one -on -one videos. Uh, these videos are just to motivate and uh, educate people that live with paralysis, um, that you can still drive, you can still live an everyday life, you can still have freedom of your own. You don't necessarily need somebody with you all the time to do these things. Now, everything varies depending on your injury. Um, I am a, cause what you call a tetraplegic, which means... One or more extremities are damaged functionally. Uh, excuse me. I'm a tetraplegic, which means that one one or more extremities are paralyzed, either motor motor wise, muscle, or sensory, which is feeling, or both. In my situation, um, my legs are paralyzed. My arms work, but there's certain places on my arm that I don't feel. Perfect example, my left arm, I don't feel my triceps, um, the inner part of my upper arm, my elbow. So, but my muscles still work, so I'm still able to use my arms. So, I'm a tetraplegic, um, and I'm completely independent. And I do not live in a wheelchair accessible home. I will show in more videos how I operate in an unaccessible home. And yeah, um, the only limits that you guys have is the ones we put on ourselves. So I make these videos to motivate people, not just people in wheelchairs, but people dealing with anything. Even if you don't have any disability and you're just going through something, doubting yourself, keep pushing. And um, get out there and see your limits. See what you can do. See what you can't do. And the things that you can't do, find an adjustment. Find an alternative. There's always a way. All right, guys. That's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Peace.